Hello and welcome to my Descript Studio Sound Tutorial. This is going to remove a lot of those annoying and nagging sounds in the back of your audio or video file. And it's very easy to do. If you'd like to follow along or in case you haven't gotten to test out Descript, I will leave a link down below in the description where you can access it for free. Let's begin. So in terms of a tutorial, this is extremely easy to do. What we want to do is after you upload your video, I just did a new one. For this one, what I did, uh, I did this previously, but I wanted to touch more upon this because I think this is a very big feature. And what I did is I went closer to the fan. I'm like, how can I get some background noise that's really annoying? And I don't know if it picked it up all that well. It was a little bit fuzzy. So what I'm going to do is play this. If there's some delay, I apologize just because my computer lags a little when I have a lot of stuff open. But allow me to play this. Let's see if you can hear it. All right, so here's the video that is very close to the fan. Hopefully you can hear the background noise so that when I redo the video, it'll edit it and sound perfect. Okay, so I'm not sure if you could hear that or whatever, but um, it was definitely there. <laughs> don't try that at home also. You don't want to end up the Headless Horseman. So what you want to do is click on the actual video here. And what we go to is audio effects. After that, just click on studio sound and applying studio sound to studio sound. I called it that just so you know, in case it looks funny, but Give it a few seconds. Obviously, if, it, if you have a much longer video, it's going to be a longer process, but I think it's just so fantastic how you can click a button and then it'll make it just sound great for you. Okay, so that's done. There's also going to be these settings here if you want to change that around. There's also the question mark in case you're curious about maybe how that works or FAQs, whatever it's going to be. But that's pretty much going to be the tutorial when it comes to adding studio sound. Now here's going to be the grand finale. Obviously, we are we didn't really hear the fan too much. It was there. Uh, I think I heard a little bit more on my phone, but you're going to notice that not only is that gone, my voice is going to sound pretty good, at least in the examples I've done. So enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And here is the final video after using studio sound. All right, so here's a video that is very close to the fan. Hopefully you can hear the background noise so that when I redo the video, it'll edit it and sound perfect. And there you have it, crystal clear, no background noise. Uh, try it out yourself, it works great. Thanks again for watching so much and I will see you in my next video.